Good morning, students. Let's solve additional mathematics paper 24037, variation 22 of May June 2018. Now, the first question it says that show that cos theta into cot theta plus sin theta equal to cosec theta. So, let's start with left hand side. Left hand side is cos theta into cot theta plus sin theta. Now we do know that cot theta is cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta plus sin theta and if I multiply this it's gonna be cos square theta on the top and below here is sin theta plus sin theta and if we simplify the denominator is 1 so LCM is gonna be sin theta and over here is cosec uh, cos square theta plus uh, sin theta divided by 1 that's sin theta sin theta plus uh, sin theta times sin theta is sin square theta so this is the first trigonometric identity identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so it's 1 by sin theta you can write down since sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 now, what is 1 by sin, sin theta? That is nothing but cosec theta because cosec theta is the reciprocal of 1 by sin theta, uh, reciprocal of sin theta. Now, this equals to cosec theta, that's our right hand side. So you can write down right hand side and in the bracket you get put shown or showed. Okay. Hence, solve this equal to that. When it's hence, therefore, Instead of that, you can write down cosec theta equal to 4. Now, cosec theta, remember 1 by sin theta, 1 by sin theta, so it's going to be 4. So, you can write down sin theta equal to 1 by 4. Now, this is 0 to three, uh, zero to 90 degree. So, make sure your calculator, your calculator mode is in degree. My one is radiant. So, degree is 3 over here. So sine inverse 1 by 4 or 0 0.25 is 14.5. So theta equal to 14.5 degree. So that's the answer. Question number two. <clears throat> On the Venn diagram below, shade the region that represent A intersecting complement of B or B prime. So if we hold this B whole B, okay, Whatever the region is with that A intersected. So it's going to be this part only. Okay. So that's that. All right. I have a really nice uh, video on this one. It says uh, tips and tricks and how to use number to shade the region of a Venn diagram. Uh, you probably like to see that. Okay. That's, that's very handy. Okay. Question number B. The universal set and sets p q r are such that p union q union r prime is a null set so outside of p q and r but inside the universal set this region there is no elements okay this is null set number of p intersecting r equal to 8 p intersecting r is 8 let's put here 8 okay so that's done number of p equal to 21 i'm just going to write down as it is but you have to understand that this h supposed to be subtracted from that we're going to come to that later on now not in p intersecting uh, q uh, intersecting with the q intersecting r so this two this is null set so there's there is no elements in there so i can just i can just this with this there is no elements there now number of p intersecting r equal to 8 p intersecting r so over here is 8 2 okay so if this is 8 okay keep that one 8 and number of q number of q is 15 so we're gonna put 15 over here and number of p intersecting q is 10 p intersecting q is 10 right over here and number of elements is 30 now what to do see that p intersecting q is a uh, uh, 10 so 10 and over here i have 
8. Okay, so if I subtract 8 from here, so this is going to be actually 2. So intersecting P and Q, uh, inter, uh, P intersecting Q is 2 plus 8 is 10. Okay, and over here, see that um, this part over here, it says that uh, this is this is over here p intersecting r equal to 8 since this is 8 so i don't need that this over here is empty set as well now from this 21 i subtract i have to subtract this 10 so minus 10 i'm gonna have here 11 so cross that out and 10 will be subtracted from here it's gonna be 5 okay and then this last part over here it says that universal set the number uh, elements of uh, universal set is 30 so here is 11 this is 11 plus 10 plus 5 that gives me 26 so 30 minus 26 that's give me 4 so that's gonna be 4 okay now it says that complete the Venn diagram I did to show the information and state the value of uh, number of elements in R so number of elements in R is nothing but 8 plus 4 equal to 12 okay the way I have done that um, I just went through this and then I keep subtracting from each of the region you can do different ways okay but this is one of the way you can use the pencil so you can cross it out or erase that then you will understand how these things are done I cross that out I use different colors so probably it looks really messy but you can you can use your own method okay now question number three it is given that x plus 3 is a factor of the polynomial px equal to 2x cubed plus ax square minus 24x plus b. The remainder when px is divided by this is minus 15. So let me write down that px equal to 2x cubed plus ax square minus 24x plus b. Now it says x plus 3 is a factor. So, according to the question, P, now in, instead of that, instead of this X, I can write down negative 3. Since X plus 3 equal to 0, so X equal to minus 3. So, I put here minus 3 equal to 0 according to the question. Okay, it's a factor, so it's 0. So, 2, I'm going to replace this uh, X by minus 3. So, minus 3 cubed plus a minus 3 square minus 24 minus 3 plus b equal to 0. So that's going to be minus 27 times 3 cubed is 27 minus 27 times 2. That's going to be minus 54 and this minus 3 square is 9. So that's plus 9a minus minus plus 24 times 3 is 72 so minus minus plus 72 plus b equal to 0 so I have here 9a plus b and 72 minus 54 that's 18 so if I send it to that side it's gonna be minus 18 that's my equation 1 now another one is the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus 2 is 15 so again again according to the question it says p when it's x replaced by 2 the remainder is 15 this is remainder theorem so again we're gonna go like that 2 then it's gonna be 2 cubed plus a 2 square minus 24 into 2 plus b equal to 0 so that's gonna be 2 cubed is 8, 8 to the 16, and over here plus 4a, and this is going to be minus 48 plus b equal to 0. So 4a plus b, and this is going to be 16 minus 48 minus 32. If I send it to that side, it's going to be plus 32. That's my equation 2. Okay. Now, wait a minute. I, ha I have 15 here. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't oh god all right this is going to be minus 15 that's going to be minus 15 
So 32 minus 15, that's going to be 17. Sorry about that. That's going to be 17. And over here is, uh, uh, this is, I think this is okay. So uh, if I subtract that, 9a plus b equal to minus 18 and 4a plus b equal to 17. If I subtract this, then what happened? This b cross out, 9a minus 5, 4a, that's going to be 5a. And that's going to be, I think, minus 35. So 18, 17, that's minus 35. Therefore, a is going to be divided by 5, so minus 7. So I got a. And then we need to find out uh, B. So from, I'll take any of the equation. Uh, I can take that from one. So nine minus seven plus B equal to minus 18. So B equal to that's minus, so minus 18. When it goes to that side, it's gonna be positive. Nine seven is 63. So 63 minus 18, that's gonna be B equal to 45. So I got A and I got B. Now what the question is saying? Find the remainder when P of X is divided by X plus one. So let me write down P of X with the value of A and B. So it's equal to two X is cubed. Now A is minus seven X square minus 24 X and B is plus 45. Now it asking that x plus one equal to zero, so x will be replaced by minus one. So if it's minus one, what is the remainder? That's cubed minus seven minus one square minus 24 minus one plus 45. That gives me minus two. That's gonna be minus seven minus minus plus 24 plus 45. So I have, uh, this is minus nine plus 24 plus 45. I got 60. Okay, so that's my final answer, 60. Let's do question number four. Now, question number four is said, find the coordinates of the points where this line intersect with this curve. So this is a linear equation. This is a nonlinear equation. It's a simultaneous equation. So 2y minus 3x equal to 6. So I can write down 2y equal to 3x plus 6. So y equal to 3x plus 6 divided by 2. That's my equation 1. Okay, and then over here, x squared by 4. Now, in the place of y, I can write down that. So, 3x plus 6 by 2 whole square by 9 equal to 5. Now, LCM, uh, let, let, let me put this one first. And this is going to be 9 and this is going to be 4. 4 going to come down in the denominator. And this is going to be 3 is a plus b whole square. In the formula a plus b whole square, we know that it's a square plus 2ab plus b square. So it's going to be 9x square plus 3 to the 6, 6, 6 to the 36x plus 36. Okay, equal to 5. Now, if I do the LCM, this is 36. So it's going to be 36. 4 divides 36 and get 9. So 9x square, and this is plus 9x square, plus 36x, plus 36, equal to 5. So on the top, it's 9918x square, plus 36x, plus 36, equal to 5 times 36. I got 180. So 18x square, plus 36x. And if I bring this one over here, 36 minus 180, I get minus 144 equal to zero. Now 144 is a, a multiple of 18. 144 divided by 18, yeah it is. So 18, that's, if I take 18 common, so x square plus two x minus eight equal to zero. Send this 18 to that side. So that's gonna be zero divided by 18 is zero. So I'm gonna end up over here two x square plus two x minus eight equal to zero. If I do the middle term break, it's gonna be x square plus four x minus two x minus eight equal to zero. Taking x common, x plus four minus two x plus four equal to zero. So taking x plus four common, x plus four, x minus two equal to zero. Therefore, x equal to minus four and two. Now, when 
x equal to minus 4, then y is going to be 3 minus 4 is minus 12 plus 6 divided by 2, minus 6 divided by 2, that's minus 3. So answer, I got x and y, one of the set of values is minus 4 minus 3, x is minus 4, y is minus 3. And when x equal to 2, y equal to 3 times 2 plus 6 divided by 2, 6, 6, 12, 6 plus 6, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So another pair is, pair, uh, another uh, coordinates is 2 and 6. Okay, so that's the final answer. Let's do number 4, uh, 5. Okay, number 5 says that four parts uh, in a play are to be given to four of the girls chosen from seven girls. So seven girls, uh, four parts are given to the four different girls. Four parts, so different characters. Okay, so we are talking about permutation over here. If, if we, we would have said, uh, if the question would have said that uh, four spectators, uh, no different characters, they are all the same. Okay, then it would have been uh, a combination. Okay, but here four parts, different characters, so they are uh, permutation. Okay, out of seven, we're gonna choose four. So that's gonna be seven P four. I got eight hundred forty. Okay, now here three singers are chosen. So here three singers are chosen randomly from a group of five Chinese four Indians and two British singers. Find the number of different ways in which this can be done if no Chinese singers are chosen. So Chinese singers are not there. Out of six, three are chosen. So out of six, see that only singers. So it's not permutation, it's just combination, okay? Any Indian or any British singer will do. So six C three, okay? So six C three. I got 20, 20 different ways it can be done. One singer of each nationality is chosen. So out of five, one Chinese chosen or that uh, and one chosen from Chinese, one chosen from that and one from this and one from this and one from this. So from four, choose one and from two, choose one. So that's five times four times two that's actually 40 okay and here the three singers chosen are all from the same nationality same nationality all three so see british singers are not qualified because there are only two british singers so i there is no way from two i can take three so i have to choose from five and four so either take three singers from five chinese um, singers or, now this is plus, out of four Indian singers, choose three. So out of five singers, choose three, or out of four Indian singers, choose three. So five C3, that's gonna be 10. Four C3, that's gonna be four. So it's gonna be 14, okay? So that's my answer. All right, so um, I'll do, Question number six in my next video. Okay, take care. Have a good day.